I love spray painting. I, I can't get enough of it. It's about fucking graffiti. It's about destroying public property. It's up on the walls. It's everywhere. It's free. I just wanted to destroy shit. I just wanted to, like, make shit funny. David was a standout from the minute I had him as a student. He didn't do a lot of preliminary. He just like, wham, he just went for it. His style is the dirty style, you know? His style is just dirty. David painted everything on this wall, maybe 70, 80 feet long. It's a beautiful treatment. No one's handed him anything. He's worked hard for everything. He just did everything to make that happen for himself. His shirts sold really well because there's stuff in his art that people can relate to. David's genius is somewhat about being a bad boy. Everything I've ever done in my life that I enjoyed, I do it to the extreme. I travel a hell of a lot. I travel all the fucking time. Like, I traveled to Japan a month before I went to Japan again. When I got to the airport, I was like, maybe I shouldn't get on that plane. Instead, I got on the plane, got arrested in less than 24 hours, and spent the next three months in jail. This is going to be a dark time in my life now. My girlfriend lives a righteous life. She ends up in a brand new home. I sleaze and slime my way through life and I end up in a cell. It was really like I was getting caught for like my lifetime of, you know, everything that happened. I have to unlearn, like my whole life. I've been taking time apart from her. She doesn't feel it anymore. She thinks I'm a liar. It's over, dude. Prison life changes your perspective on things, you know? I had that copy of the Bible and I would, you know, write down certain verses in this. Look at your life, like the stuff you're into, like who are you, like wh what do you believe in, what are you about? Every aspect of how I live my life is illegal. I can't go on like this, I mean I can't live like this anymore.